Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix PlayStation 4 Critical Mode. In the last episode, we escaped from Hades and defeated his his underworld guardian, Cerberus. Uh, I also tried to add something. I ended up redoing the fight after the recording so that I could show you guys the reaction command uh, because we were, didn't actually get it during the fight. Uh, and it's actually really cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you were able to see it. Let's continue up to the stairway to heaven, everybody. Let me see if I've got this right. That brat's keyblade works on any lock. That's right. <laughs> have I ever told you about the killer coliseum we have right here in the underworld? It makes the one upstairs look like an Olympic kiddie pool. And that's the place we're gonna put an end to hurt the jerk's winning streak. Problem. Zeus locked it tight. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bingo. All we gotta do is swipe that key and then reopen the underdrome. Hate to tell you, but that key is kind of particular. It won't work for just anybody, and that kid ain't no pushover. <laughs> I think this calls for a woman's touch. This is not looking good for Sora. Oh, it's like being home. Look at this. Gosh, this sure does bring back memories. It sure does. Kingdom Hearts 1, anybody? Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at everything's still here. The Phil Cup, the Pegasus Cup, the Hercules Cup, the Hades Cup. I wonder, can we read these? That would be great. The rankings board for the Hades Cup, in which you struggled greatly. Yeah, but also, we got number one. Uh, let's see if... I don't think you can actually target these anymore. Uh, no, you can't, so... Oh, I, like, want to jump around and use Trinity Marks, but those aren't in this game. Alright, let's continue on. <sighs> Sora! Donald! Goofy! When'd you get here? Hey, Herc! <laughs> Howdy there! You on another adventure? Yeah, tracking down some friends, wiping out some Heartless. Junior Heroes always busy. You know it. Sora's so strong. High five and Hercules. So, did you find those friends of yours? Still working on it. When we got here, we ran into Meg... Mega, mega trouble, I mean. So we had to help somebody out. We tried to go teach Hades a thing or two, but the underworld drains away all our strength. Don't suppose you have any ideas. Well, there is a stone that guards against the underworld's curse. The gods on Mount Olympus use it whenever they have to go down there. Think we could use it? Sure, why not? I'll go get it for you. Thanks. Real nice of you. But Hades is no pushover, even if you've got the Olympus stone. And I have a match today, so I can't go with you. Know what you need? Training. Why don't you go talk to Phil? Hey, good idea. All right, so we'll get the Colosseum map, which is pretty gnarly. We can talk to Megara. Uh, uh, Hercules went to get the Olympus Stone. In the meantime, shouldn't you be training junior heroes? Why does everybody call us that? We're not junior heroes. We're real heroes. So we can go to the Colosseum gates if we want and see that there are these new pods here that launched. Uh, nothing to really do with those, but I just want to show that they are here. So instead, we're going to go up and talk to you uh, right in this room. Hey champ, how you feeling? Better rest up for tomorrow's match. Nobody's gonna pay to see a worn out hero. Gabish? Remember what I told you. Victory in the games comes down to two simple words. Eat, bathe, sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, if it ain't the junior heroes. Looking good, Phil. Never better. How you guys been? Have you earned your true hero wings yet? Uh... Nope, you ain't got what it takes. What? So, what's up? 
<laughs> you three are gonna take on Hades. What's so funny? We can take on Hades, dude. You got nerve. I like that. Hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened, right? Better get crack a boys. We've already taken down Hades. Did did everybody forget? Did everybody forget that we've already taken down Hades? We can talk to Donald. He's not really going to say much. Uh, we can talk to Goofy. Also, not totally going to say too much. But Phil here will give us the chance to break these pots. Phil's training. We will practice. Yes, please. So all you have to do is collect the orbs from destroying the pots in 90 seconds. So you have to get a certain amount, uh, which is only 20, and then we will be fine. So we kind of want to be able to do this. Um, you want to be able to kind of hit a lot at one time, and unfortunately we haven't really done that just just yet. But we we can. Now it is worth mentioning that we should be able. You should be able to go, like look at that. That was so easy. Uh, we were able to get all of them with plenty of time left. How was that? That only took like 15 seconds. It ain't over, kid. You can relax once you've finished all of the training. So there's one more that we have to do. This one's also very, very easy. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to him, and let's do Maniac. Maniac's a little different. You want to focus on the large pots that will spawn, because those actually contain 30. And this time, we need to get 100 orbs in the same amount of time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, that's okay. We can still do it. It's not that hard in any any way at all once the big ones spawn that's the ones you want to make sure that you take out and obviously if you're able to combo a ton of them like that you'll be you'll be fine you'll be sitting pretty in no time all right there's the large one so each of these each of these large ones that spawns ends up having 30 in them so you should for the most part be able to just kill like two of those and you'll be fine see already already got them all and we get our get bonus which is aerial dive Perfect time, Herc. Perfect time. So let's go ahead and see what that ability is. Uh, we can go and see it. Aerial Dive unleashes a powerful area attacked attack on distant enemies. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. Uh, and that's the only thing that we can pretty much equip right now. We can talk to Phil if we want. The Curse of the Underworld. Yep, that can be a bummer. Uh, they're not going to say too much yet. Of course, it is cool that we have the Olympus Stone. Thank you, Hercules, for going and getting that for us. Listen, I gotta take off for a bit. Where to? None of your beeswax. All right, relax, dude, relax. Sorry, guys. The Olympus Stone has been stolen. Whoa, 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 what? We don't know who did it yet. All we're sure of is that it was a guy in a black hooded cloak. And he had accomplices, a bunch of creatures in white. Organization 13, guys. Someone you know? I think so. Hey, if we can get the Olympus Stone back, can we borrow it for a while? Sure. Thanks, Herkalurk. Uh, by the way, you haven't seen Mega Round, have you? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Huh. Poor Herkajerk. What's wrong, your hero-ness? Feeling under the weather? You know, I thought staying in perfect shape was part of the hero job description. You know what I'm saying. Oh, right. Hades, we gotta talk. Ah, I came to share a bit of mildly interesting news. Seems your dear, sweet little nutmeg... <laughs> went and got herself lost in the underworld. <laughs> you mean you kidnapped her? Well, maybe. <laughs> but why get caught up in the details? Uh -uh -uh. You can't leave now. Okay. You've got a very important match today against um, the bloodthirsty Hydra. <laughs> I mean, if you don't stick around, who knows what kind of accidents might happen. Yeah, accidents you cause. Like I said, details. Who needs them? You're just a coward. Ah, well. Can't all be heroes. Can you handle this? You got it. We're heroes. You and your heroes, Donald. You take care of the Hydra. We'll handle the rest. I'm counting on you. Gotta find Meg. I love that Pegasus has been introduced to us. Finally, am I right? 
Believe me, I wish I could leave this instant to rescue Megara. Please help her, Sora, at least until I defeat the Hydra. And be sure to save here. Alright, and then we can continue out to the, towards the Colosseum Gates. And we are heading back to the Underworld. A place that, uh... Well, it didn't do too well for us last time. It was actually really difficult, so... Let's see what happens now. Phil! Oh... What happened? I spotted this strange guy all dressed in black. I chased after him, but he turned on me. Next thing I know, I'm seeing stars. All dressed in black. He's the one who stole the Olympus Stone. Where did he run off to? To the Underworld. He's a bad apple, all right, and all I wanted was to find a backup hero, just in case Herc needed to take a break. Heroes, eh? You could have just asked. You know someone? Oh, good one. Dude, come on. Come on, Phil. That guy in black doused the fire that blocked this entrance and went into the cave. To be honest, I'm worried about you. Be sure to prepare before you go in. Oh, we're prepared. Let's go ahead and grab this chest. This is what we need. This is going to have a power boost. Increase the strength by one, usable only from the main menu. Super, super handy. That permanently increases Sora's strength. You want to use it on Sora, of course. Let's continue to this area. Well, look at this. Oh, no. Well, apparently we missed that. These are new enemies called Trick Ghosts. These guys can be super obnoxious because their they're homing fire dark balls do do a lot of damage. And they can sometimes overwhelm you. Like that just happened. Where basically they were able to kind of... There was one super close to us that we had to fight. And then there were the other ones as well that we had to deal with. But it's okay because we took them down. So, as you saw, there was a puzzle piece as soon as we jumped off. I was hoping we could get it, but right here, we can grab a mithril shard, we can climb back up, and of course, we'll be able to just hop over here and grab the heart puzzle piece. Perfect. Uh, we are making a lot of headway, actually, on the heart puzzle piece. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, we should look at that right now and see how many more we need. Um, I know we're definitely pretty close, man. We're definitely pretty close on this one. Heart... Yeah, we are. So this is obviously going to go uh, right here. Boom. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right. I think that's all that we can find for items in this particular area. But we're not entirely done yet. Nope. Instead, we need to head over here to this area. This is called the Lost Road. Man. This underworld curse is really getting to me. We've got to get that Olympus Stone back fast. We sure do. So we can break these if we want. They're not going to do anything. They have some health balls in them. That's kind of handy. And it looks like more trick ghosts and soldiers. So now we are fighting kind of different types of enemies. Not totally different, but different than we fought in the other parts of Olympus Coliseum. So far, anyways. So right over here, we can go ahead and grab this, which is going to contain a ether, which is super useful. Now, we can't actually get up here yet because our high jump isn't isn't quite available to us. And if you didn't realize, uh, we can't use our drive gauge, obviously, like I've said before. So we have to continue towards uh, this way. So right here, we can grab this chest, which is going to contain a bright shard, which is useful. And then we can go ahead and take down these trick ghosts as well. Uh-oh. Thank you, Donald. Now, there is a large body in the back there, but again, I'm not I'm not too afraid of him. Uh, the Trick Ghosts right now are what we need to focus on. Now, you can deflect their dark energy back at them, which will do damage and will take care of them. Uh, right there, we leveled up, and we get Experience Boost because we just hit level 17. Now, that is going to depend on what you ended up choosing for an ability, uh, or for the weapon that you chose at the beginning of the game. Luckily for us, we now have Experience Boost, which means we are going to be leveling up much, much faster. Let's go ahead and equip that immediately uh, because that is just like I said so useful so useful increases experience by a hundred percent when you are half health or less yeah so you have to be low on health luckily for us we spend a lot of this game on half health so let's go ahead open this chest which is going to have a mithril stone now we again this is another puzzle piece that we just can't get yet 
Uh, and you will notice, too, that we don't have any maps. So getting around here can be kind of challenging. There's another thing right here that we can grab, though, which is going to contain a Mithril Shard, which is, of course, again, used for synthesizing. Right here, we can go ahead and grab a Duality Puzzle Piece. Now, Duality is we have a lot that we... Oh, there we go. We were able to use Cyclone. Uh, I thought we weren't going to be able to use it. That was weird. Okay, down they go. Down they go. Now, we just want to make sure that we get everything that we can get. So, of course, we can't go over there. We can't get anything. Uh, this is where we were. This is a big, kind of a big circle. Uh, but we got most of the chests that we can get. Now. Now. We need to go and head this way. Which will lead us to another area that we've never been to. The atrium. Hmm. Right over here, we can grab another item, which is going to contain a lucid stone. And a puzzle piece is also available for us to grab right here, which is going to be another heart puzzle piece, which is beautiful for us. Let's go ahead and head up here. Hmm. Spooky. Right here, we can go ahead and jump across, and we can pick up this item, which is going to be an AP boost. Nice. And then up here. Oh, do you see him? Do you see the man in black? Huh? Oh, you! Wait a sec. Roxas? Excuse me? Roxas? Oh, it's no use. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see here. If the subject fails to respond, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Right. Did they ever pick the wrong guy for this one? You're bizarre. Oh, he's gotta be the thief. Now that's just plain rude. Now Man, this is Demix, one of the members of Organization 13, except we're not actually fighting him just yet. Now you will see that we are actually fighting the forms he summons, which are these water ones. Luckily for us though, they have reaction commands that we can use, and we have to destroy a bunch of these forms in a certain amount of time. We only have, uh, right now, about a minute to destroy 60 more forms. Luckily for us, these things die right away. We have reaction commands that can take them down, and for the most part, you should be able to do this without any true problems whatsoever. They don't really do that much damage, and of course, with Wild Dance, you will just be destroying them over and over and over. These are literally water, so for the most part, one hit will kill them, and of course, the reaction commands help. This is not a hard fight whatsoever. It's kind of a boss fight, kind of not. So there's only one form left, and we will just go ahead and take him down. And maximum HP increase, MP rage, and HP increase. Uh, ooh. Roxas, come back to us. Guys, a broken record. And work! Let's go. Meg needs our help. Now, this scene was entirely added in Final Mix, and it wasn't in 2. Not you again. Ah, uh, don't be like that, especially when I'm here to tell you about something even better than the Olympus Stone. Absent silhouettes, shadowy presences of those who were slain. Absent silhouette? Like the title of that book! Exactly, though they come in all different shapes and sizes. The item belongs to its owner, who is now nothing more than a shadowy presence. But you can still fight them, of course, and as you do, it'll slowly awaken the real you. What are you talking about? You're the hero. You figure it out. Absent silhouettes. What is that anyway, an absent silhouette? You'll have to save that for later. First, we have to rescue Megarach. Let's go. So the absent silhouette, we can now use it. Sort of. Uh, secret Ansem Report number five, and we got the Olympus Stone, which is pretty darn cool. 
Uh, I'm not going to read that yet because I obviously like to say, well, now we could go that way, uh, which is where we have to go. But, of course, there are items that I think we should grab. Let's see if we can get out of these just because they do do so much damage. And I would rather not die right now, to be honest with you. Uh, we can grab some stuff and we need to be careful of this dark, uh, this trick ghost. I keep saying dark ghost, but it's not what I mean to say. All right, bunch of lucid shards. We can now use our drive gauge, which is awesome, meaning we can now use chicken little. Uh, we can do all of the summoning that we wanted to do ages ago. Right here, we can just jump down, and this will actually lead us back down to the caverns of time. Uh, nah, let's just run. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. There's no reason to stick around. Now, there was another entrance down here that we want to go. Uh, so, if we go, I believe, we want to go down this way. So, this place is kind of confusing without... Now, we do have drive gauge, so we could probably get up here. We probably should. Let's see if we can do it. So, let's... Can we get up here? Ah, uh, I thought we could. I definitely thought we could. That's okay. That's okay. Instead, we'll see if we can get some levels on this. Maybe kill some dudes? No? All right. We don't want to go that way, because that's that's the cave event. That's where we came in. We want to go this way. This is the way we need to go to get some more items. Am I wrong? No, I'm not wrong. Right there, we can go ahead and grab that. That's the daylight puzzle piece. We grab that. That's awesome. Now we can lay into these guys and hopefully get some more experience. Because again, like I've said numerous times before, uh, making sure that we are able to grab uh, the growth abilities on Valor Form is super, super helpful for us. So let's see if we can take this guy down real quick. Perfect. All right. I think that's pretty much all that we can do. Right here is another area that we can go back to. Uh, but we want to make sure that we get all of the items that we can. Now, we did miss some items because they're all the way over on the other side there, which we can't actually get to right now, unfortunately. So you have to actually go all the way around to get over there. So I just wanted to grab that puzzle piece, and then we can go grab those last ones as well. So this will lead us back here to where we were, and then we just literally loop back around, and we can go this way. So... Not, I don't think that was a, I don't, I don't personally feel like that's a wasted drive gauge, uh, just because we were able to get that puzzle piece earlier than what you would normally be able to get it as. So there we go, we were able to get another AP boost and a lucid shard, and now we can continue, uh, to where we have to go to save Megarach. Megarach. Back to the atrium. And then from here, we can go ahead and see if we can get a quick kill. Perfect. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and kill this creeper. Easy peasy. Now let's get out of here. Back to where we fought Demix, where now, now, we'll be able to continue forward. You could have continued forward before, but again, I wanted to make sure we grab those items. All right, let us boogie on out. The Lock, Olympus Coliseum. Oh, I see what they did here. I see what they did. So right here, we can go ahead and grab another AP boost. We have so many AP boosts. And another duality puzzle piece. And right here is going to be the map for this area. Perfect. Cavern's map. And right here, we can grab another item, which is going to contain a mithril shard. Now, you could save here. Uh, I recommend doing so. And as soon as we're ready, we can go ahead and go to the rescue. Almost there. All right, let's enter this beam of light. <laughs> nah, that's what I call a key. Gee, thanks for your help. Now have a nice day. Sora, behind you. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't fight in the underworld? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Better think again. Charge! 
So this part does not count as a boss fight. Instead, we just need to defeat the enemies while defending Meg. That's literally all we have to do, and of course, if we get a reaction command, that's gonna be made a lot easier. So we need to see if we can just get these off of Meg before they do too much damage against her, and you can't really harm uh, Pete when he has his shield up, so we just need to watch out. Uh, he's gonna jump. Now, this is totally fine. He's gonna throw a bowling ball, that's okay. Uh, and we just need to get out of that. And then we'll go ahead, use Cure, perfect. And then we'll go ahead and lay into Pete. And again, this isn't really a boss fight at, in any real way whatsoever. So as long as you defend Meg, it'll be fine. So he'll summon these Heartless. We'll just make sure that we kill them all. Easy peasy. I'm going to get Donald up. There we go. And then we will just lay into Pete yet again. This is not a problem whatsoever, guys. It really, really isn't. So he's now invincible. So now we can turn around. And as soon as our MP comes back, now he's not invincible. So we will go ahead and lay into him yet again. And hopefully be able to finish him off right now. Did that not, did that not do it? There we go. There's too many. Let's go. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Get Meg out of here. I'll meet you back at the Coliseum. What about you? I'm gonna show these guys what happens when they mess with a true hero. I love how he's got to flex every time he says hero. Yeah, show my muscles, baby girl. Now, wait a sec. Come Get out of here, Pete. So Pete is now stuck facing us and Hercules. Sora, I won't leave him. He'll be okay. Look, even Herc has his limits. He can't keep winning forever. Then we'll go back him up. Get Meg out of here. Looks like Mr. Little Pete is going to have his hands full now with Hercules and Sora. Now we need to defeat Pete before the cave collapses. This is a wonderful time to use your drive gauge if you have it. Now, unfortunately, I forgot that we already used it. Uh, but now we can go ahead and use it. There we go. And we will focus on the Trick Ghost Aura Guard, which will make sure that we basically destroy them. And then we will go ahead and basically destroy all of these super, super quickly because we are, of course, using Valor Form, which is super strong. And then as soon as Pete is alone, we will go ahead and see if we can unload on him and do a ton of damage. Uh, oh, yeah, we can. And now we are going to use Pinball, which is going to basically get rid of the shield. And we will just lay into him as much as possible. And then we will use Pinball yet again. There we go. And then, boom, down goes Pete. Sora learned Trinity Limit, Donald's HP increased, and Goofy learned Hyper Healing. This place gives me the creeps. I'll deal with you nitwits next time. Oh. Could today possibly get any better? <laughs> this time, Wonder Breath is going down for good. Well, if it isn't everyone's favorite hero washout, you really blew it this time. No one likes a sore loser, Hades. Can it, key boy? Then let me. No one likes a sore loser, Hades. Yeah, yeah, sticks and stones. Ha! You spelled sticks that way. Maybe you should go check on that Hydra you neglected to finish off. I hear things are really falling apart up there, champ. Wait! Hate to run, but I've got another little diversion to attend to.
All right, well, didn't really make it, but we can go ahead and save. And there you have it, everybody. That is the end of this episode because we are about to enter into another boss fight. And this video is already pretty long, so I'm going to include that and the, the introduction to the next world in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying this series, please be sure to drop a like. It really, really does help me out. Also showing up on screen right now is a Patreon button. Click that. You can go to Patreon. Check out all of the rewards that are there just for a dollar a month. You can support the channel and get early access to these videos and showing up on screen is the playlist to this series as well as as well as a video youtube has chosen specifically for you thank you all so much for watching and remember never give up never surrender to hades